Hi there, this is Big Louie 1988 and I'm here with, well, first thing I'm going to say, I'm going to change everything of how I do DVD reviews, okay? Now, I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to do UFC DVD reviews and I'm going to do pro wrestling DVD reviews, so... Um, so, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I've mixed everything up, but I just want to do something different, and, uh, and, um, and I apologise if I've mixed everything up, but this is going to be my DVD review of this year, UFC 1, the the beginning. It was held on November the twelfth, nineteen ninety three, at the McNichols Sports Arena in Devna, Colorado, and the attendance were two was two thousand eight hundred fans. And um, the whole concept of this event is eight fighters. Eight different fighting styles, and they all fight it out in a in a tournament to see who is the UFC one tournament champion. So, um, but the first fight, which isn't on the DVD, it's a it's a uh, alternate bout, just in case if any of the eight competitors get. Uh, get um, um, injured for um, whatever reason. Um, so one of so one of the fighters can take can take their place in the tournament. So the alternate bout was Jason uh, Jason Delusia, and he took on Trent Jenkins. And um, Jason, Jason Felucia uh, makes pretty short work of Trent Jenkins. He makes he, he makes Trent Jenkins tap out in fifty two seconds, and that was the and that was the alternate bout. So uh, now we come to the tournament. Um, like I said before, eight different fighting. Eight different fighting styles, and um, and this is to see who is the UFC one tournament champion. So the first fight was was Gerard Jado, who is a Savat fighter, and he took on Taylor Tuli, who is a sumo uh, fighter who who weighs about 500 pounds and you must see the size of this guy he's unbelievably huge he's oh god he's massive um Gerard Jado makes very short work of Taylor Tooley he t he TKOs him in in just 26 seconds you know which is unbelievable Taking a look at the size of Gerard Jado, um, very tall, very, very, very lanky, and you see the guy um, Taylor Taylor Tooley. If you saw them two on paper, you would instantly think that Taylor Tooley was just gonna wipe the floor with Gerard Jado, but that was not the case. Um, Taylor Tooley tries to go for a for a takedown. Gerard Jado moves out of the way, gives him a right sharp right kick to his face. TKO's him. They have to stop. The, they have to stop the fight. Gerard Jado is your winner. He advances to the semi to the semi finals. Um, the next fight is Kevin. Rose, um, who is a uh, kickboxer, and he takes on Zane Frazier, who is a uh, Kempo Karate specialist. 
Um, Kevin Rose TKOs Zane Frazier in in four minutes twenty seconds. Now um, this fight was a brawl. Um, nothing special about this, you know. No, no nice, um, no nice um, uh, Anderson Silva spin kicks or John Jones elbows. None of that. It was just. It was just man on man, let the fist do the talking. Um, Kevin Prozier um, is quite is quite blooded up in this fight, and so is Zane Frazier. Um, uh, the fight is not pretty, but nevertheless, you know it is a good brawl. Um, Kevin Rosier TKOs Zane Frazier um, when um, he is he is delivering foot foot uh, stomps to Zane Frazier's um, head to the back of his head and Zane Frazier's corner throws in the towel. Your winner, Kevin Rosier. Uh, so that so in the semi-finals it's going to be Kevin Rose taking on Gerard Jodo, and the next fight in the uh, quarterfinals is Hoist Gracie, who's who is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu expert, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. Um, we all know Hoist Gracie and the and the history what. Him and his family have done for mixed martial arts, um, and he took on professional boxer at Jimison. Um, now this um, it wasn't really wasn't really that much of a fight, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, what happened was um, Hoyce Gracie took at Jimison down fairly easy. And he got it. He he got at Jimson in the full mount. Didn't do anything. Just lay there flat. His arms apart. His legs tucked right in between at um, Jimson's legs. And um, just lay there really. And um, at Jimson tapped out due to the full mount really and um, that, there wasn't really that, that that much of a fight but in art in art Jimison's um, defence though for some reason he was wearing one boxing glove and one and one hand free which I don't really understand but um, Nevertheless, that worked to his that worked to his a uh, his disadvantage, and Hoyce Gracie um, made Art Jimson tap out in two minutes eighteen seconds. So the next fight is Ken Shamrock. We all know who Ken Shamrock is from the WWE. Uh, Ken Shamrock took on uh, Patrick Smith. Um, Ken Shamrock, who is a uh, shoot fighter, Patrick Smith is a Taekwondo expert. Um, Ken Shamrock took down Pat Smith fairly easy, um, and uh, he instantly went for the heel hook, which is a very painful submission hold. Pat Smith didn't know what to do. You know, he was trying to fight. He was trying to fight out of it, and Ken Shamrock made Pat Smith tap out um, due to the heel hook in just one minute forty nine seconds, and which is a shame, really, because Pat Smith was in his hometown of Devon. Colorado and the fans let it be known what they what they personally thought about the fight. They were chanting bullshit, 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 and uh, that was kind of funny. But um, 
and uh, and you later found out in the semi-finals it was going to be Hoyce Gracie taking on Ken Shamrock and the next fight was obviously Gerard Jadot taking on Kevin Rosier. Now Kevin Rosier was quite busted up from his last fight uh, against Zane Frazier and um, Gerard Jadot picked him off with with ease. Um, he hit him with uh, with body shots, shots to the head, um, leg kicks, which made Kevin Rose fall to the floor. Gerard Jadot gave Kevin Rose body stomps, which made Kevin Rose tap out. Yo winner in just 59 seconds, Gerard Jadot, and he advanced to the finals. Um, and the next fight in the uh, semi-finals is a very a very anticipated fight. It is Hoist Gracie taking on Ken Shamrock. Now, um, even though it wasn't very long, you know there was there was quite a bit there was quite a bit of action, and um, um, I think Ken Shamrock came into this fight. Um, um, thinking to himself that he was going to wipe the floor with Hoist Gracie, but that definitely wasn't the case. Uh, Hoist Gracie made Ken Shamrock tap out rear naked chokehold uh, in just 57 seconds. Ken Shamrock tapped out, but the referee did not see this. So the referee was going to let the fight continue. Hoist Gracie pleaded his case and said, look, Shamrock had, Ken Shamrock had tapped out. Shamrock even admitted it, you know, saying that he did tap out. And um, and then later, at the end of the fight, they shook hands. Great show of sportsmanship, you know, between both of them. And Hoist Gracie is your winner, and he advances to the finals in the UFC 1 tournament. And there was a uh, special um, award ceremony uh, for uh, for Helio Gracie. That's his. That is Hoist Gracie's father. Um, due to the fact that he perfected Jiu Jitsu, he made Gracie Jiu Jitsu um, and made it one of the deadliest fighting styles ever in my opinion and um, and uh, yeah so there was a nice little awards uh, ceremony and um, Helio Gracie just said to the audience how proud he is you know to be here and you know the usual speech what people get you know when they when they accept an, uh, an award, really, you know, but um, it was it was very nice, and uh, Helio Gracie got a standing ovation for it. Now we come to the finals. It is Hoist Gracie taking on Gerard Jado. Uh, this was people were looking forward to seeing this fight. Um, what happened was Hoist Gracie got Gerard Jadot down fairly easy and um, and uh, when he finally got him on the floor you realise that Gerard Jadot had his mouth fairly close to Hoist Gracie's right ear and um, believe it or not he took a bite of Hoist Gracie's ear um, I think Mike Tyson was watching this fight, but nevertheless. Um, and um, so when that happened, Hoist Gracie, Hoist Gracie gave him a little snide little headbutt. Gerard Jado was trying to turn around, trying to get out um, of, of being in the full mount position by Hoist Gracie. Hoist Gracie hung on. Got him in a rear naked chokehold. 
pulled, pulled and pulled. Gerard, Gerard, Jado, tapped out. And Hoist Gracie hung on to the submission hold for a little bit longer than he should. But you don't blame him because of what Gerard Jado did. He took a bite of Hoist Gracie's ear. And your winner in 1 minute 44 seconds, the one and only, the legendary Hoist Gracie. And um, that is my review of UFC 1. I will be doing a review on UFC 2 at a, at a later date. Uh, don't worry, I will be doing pro wrestling DVD um, reviews. Um, I just got to say um, thank you for anybody who watches this, this video of this of UFC 1 DVD review I hope you enjoyed it and for the subscribers who have subscribed to my video thank you again and um, if you like my if you like my videos you know what to do click the su subscribe button and I'll be back with WrestleMania 1 DVD review so Thank you so, 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 so much. I'll see you later. Cheers. Bye-bye.